Morehead product in NDSU football running back Chase Morlock is getting attention for more than just his hard work on the football field this season. The senior is a semifinalist for the 2016 William V. Campbell Trophy, an award recognizing the best football scholar athlete in the nation. While clearly balancing his work off the field, Morlock is also balancing a lot of work on the field as his role continues to expand for the Bison to more of a utility player role. He's moving into a fullback position more consistently. It's a place he says he loves to be and while he is a little lighter in the matchups he says his speed makes up for a lot of the mismatch and it's something he uses to his advantage when throwing blocks for the bison i've been doing this this kind of every position thing for a while now and i i'm pretty lucky to have coach p you know our offense coordinator as my position coach because he's in there and he, he no matter what it's running back fullback slot no matter he's going to teach me all the spots so pretty pretty uh lucky to have him you know i know what he wants so that's what i'm going to do Join us this weekend on the Farmers Union Insurance Bison Football pregame show. Coverage begins Saturday at noon statewide on the KVLY and KFYR Bison Network with homecoming kickoff to follow at 1 from the Fargo Dome as NDSU and Illinois State face off for the first time since the 2014 National Championship. Remember to get involved this weekend by using the hashtag AskGelner. It's your chance to ask a question of our pregame show crew and find out exactly what you want to know before the Bison take on the Redbirds. If you're not on Twitter, go ahead and email or Facebook us as we want you weighing in on the show. And a quick programming note for those that are fans of our Bison football show with head coach Chris Kleiman. Because of NFL football overseas on Sunday morning, the show will be airing on KVLY, your NBC station, Sunday morning at 1030. Set the DVR, tune in, and hear firsthand from Coach Kleiman on the game against Illinois State.